How to make a birdhouse out of wood. Creating something with your hands is always a fulfilling, enjoyable, and productive endeavor, especially if done with someone close to you. Whether it is a garden, a painting, a cake, or even repairing a car, a common activity brings people closer and strengthens relationships and memories. This is truer when you teach a young person to make something. Working on a mutually enjoyable project will present precious opportunities to build memories as well as something tangible, something you both can be proud of. If you are looking for just about any project to do with someone, then how about teaching him or her how to make a birdhouse out of wood? Birdhouses come in all shapes and sizes, in many forms and colors, made of various kinds and combinations of materials. But not all birdhouses are created equal. One, the first thing you need to know about how to make a birdhouse out of wood or any other material has nothing to do with the birdhouse itself. You must find out about the birds that are native to your locality and the kinds of birdhouses they like. Some birds, no matter how beautiful and well made your birdhouse is, will never be enticed by something alien to them. Don't take it personally, but don't let your efforts go to waste either. From the first, be sure that the birdhouse you build will actually be attractive for the species you want to draw. Two, what we consider beautiful may not be so to others. Art is a matter of taste. Human aesthetics is irrelevant to birds. Consider first their needs and then plan your birdhouse around those needs. Take note of the things that are important to the bird: how far from the ground they prefer to nest, the kinds of predators they avoid. The things they like to feed on. Three. Once you've determined the birds you want to be using your birdhouse and the things they need, then you can start building. With some rudimentary carpentry skills, you can easily put together a decent birdhouse. The easier your birdhouse is to make, the more likely you will encourage a youngster to try his hand at it. Four. Find a cardboard box that is about the same dimension as the birdhouse you want to build. Draw a circle where you want the feeding hole to be. And mark the spot where the dowel for the bird to perch on is supposed to go. At the back side of the box, mark two inches down from the top. Then, on both sides of the box, draw diagonal lines from the top of the front to the two-inch line at the back. This will form the slope of the roof. Mark T on the tops of all four sides. Four. Cut the box apart. Set aside the four sides that form the body of the box. Discard the top and bottom parts of the box. Six. Use the cutout parts as a pattern to cut your wood to size, except for the top and bottom. There should be four parts to the body. You also need a dowel for the perch. Transfer all pattern markings to the wood parts. Seven. Note that the back should be two inches shorter from the front part, and each of the two sides should be cut on the diagonal at one end. Pre-drill the hole according to the pattern and attach the dowel at the spot you marked as well. Eight. Making sure that the front part is right side up and all four bottoms are aligned, nail the body of the birdhouse together. Nine. Take the body and stand it on a piece of wood. Trace around the bottom and cut the wood out. Ten. Stand the birdhouse on the top opening so that all edges are flat on another piece of wood. The frame should be standing at an angle, not perpendicular, because of the sloped sides. Trace around the edges of the top opening. Mark three to five inches outside the box you traced, depending on the size of the overhang you want the birdhouse to have. Cut out this larger box. Eleven. Nail the bottom to the structure to form the floor of the birdhouse and the roof to the top. Twelve. Again, depending on the bird you want your birdhouse to attract. You may opt to paint your handiwork. If you do, make sure you hang it on its designated spot only after the paint has dried completely and the house is safe to use. Now that your birdhouse is done, hang it on the spot you have chosen for it. Allow some time for the birdhouse to blend into the surroundings and for the natural course of nature to remove traces of your smell and touch from it before birds will consider it safe to explore.